Hey peoples, welcome back to my channel. I know that it's been like two months or three months since I made a YouTube video for a very long time. Um, oh my god, it's fucking bad. Sit your ass down, bitch. Um, hi. <laughs> it is I, it is the baddest bitch on YouTube. No, I'm just <laughs> I really would. Okay. You wanna know what it is? I really think I really strongly do think that the reason why I don't do YouTube videos like as much as I used to as like when I was like really younger is because I didn't have like the passion. Like I feel like as I get older and the more I get the more I get older, the more I get more like developed in my in my huge noggin. I I strongly feel like that like I lose my pa my passion of creativity and everything. Like I, I really do. Like I feel like at the beginning of the year, like I was so like passionate about like TikTok. I was so passionate about um, like getting like um, like it really really wasn't like the views or anything like that, but like more of the acceptance or like the respect. So, like you know, because that's what I strive for: the acceptance and respect, or like the love and kindness from others and stuff like that. Because that's that's just how I am. Um, with with TikTok and it, it prevailed like you know like a lot of people love me and like stuff like that but like you know me me as the person that's always had like open opinions and person that like has always been the person that's very outspoken even though people try to like be like oh my god Bruce like is somebody like I'm this person probably gonna kill me but this person was like oh my like I posted a video about like uh, my glow up or whatever like that about like you know you know um what's that what's a tiktok trend um the weight on me that that you know and someone underneath it which is my friend like you know michael he said like some like hrh saved us so i was like i love hrh i love hrh to death but one thing about it yes i am i'm inspired by like you know probably like her looks or, like you know her outfits or whatever like that because like th that it i am inspired by her by her outfits or, like but i'm inspired by a lot of people's outfits and you know not a lot of people in my in my town wear exactly the same thing that i wear and that's that's it's always has been like that since i was a child i've always been a trendsetter i've always been a person that stand out i was a person that that like just says whatever the fuck i want to say and you know a person that just like so like oh my god hra save us i was like mm. The only reason why I watch HRA is sim simply because I see myself in her. Like, and <laughs> I don't watch people to be exactly like them. Like, I really, I do not. Like, I, I don't. Like, I've, I've always been like this crazy, you know, like the, that kind of person. Uh, and I don't do exactly the same thing as her anyway. But, anyways, um, yeah, I was like, please, I've always been this way. You just have not been around long enough. Anyways, um, what I'm trying to say is like you know I, I just um, I don't know anyways how you been doing <laughs> I feel so awkward coming over here I just went to a huge tangent like that quickly cuz it just kind of like it was on my brain on my noggin and I don't know yeah YouTube I feel like YouTube I think when I lost that I think I was going into okay I think when I lost the passion of like TikTok and like YouTube and stuff like that is when all the hate come because I thought that like I really thought that if I was to be more and more because that's what I was trying to be more authentic and more of myself and like you know I always have the opinions like, especially because of the non-binary and they they them people <laughs> that's why I call them um, you know and I respect my people that are non-binary like you know but that little line of me saying like um why all eight why all they them people like haters and stuff like that i really thought that i was i was in the place of a community where i can just be myself and say whatever i want and it really just i feel like this is what i'm trying to get at oh my god shut the fuck up what i'm trying to get at is that like i think where i lost the passion is when i thought that i was accepted and respected enough to be able to say what i wanted and how i feel at the moment and 
it took a turn and i think that's why i lost my passion there you go okay fuck like it took forever to get it out and i just um now i don't give a fuck now i'm just like i say whatever the fuck i want bitch and i think that that's the passion that i i think i think that acceptance i don't need to be accepted by anyone i want to respect everyone deserves respect yes they do but your acceptance no i don't need your acceptance that's why now i just say whatever the fuck i want i wear whatever the fuck i want yes like people was getting mad about my think while it's legal like bitch maybe you should think maybe you should think and stop like uh, like let other people think for you because i think that's what it is with some of these people um and they go along like like little sheep that's all they do like they go along they follow the leader that's a person i've never been i've never been the person to follow the leader like bitch no i'm gonna do whatever i want how i feel and you know and uh, it's just i'm so sick of like you know that that's why i really don't want people to do like i don't stri don't strive for people's acceptance strive for respect and just be yourself because at the end of the day i feel like me on instagram i love instagram i used to really despise instagram and think tiktok was the end all be all of the app so like twitter was the end all be all no 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 no. i was completely wrong instagram is where it's at because i really do think that the people on instagram are the people that really the people that, that really follow you is the people that really understand and really have a connection like i feel like it's a personal connection and that's why when it comes on people from TikTok and they just follow me on TikTok, they don't get that connection that that they that people get with me on Instagram or YouTube too. Like YouTube is a it's me like my true feelings of how I feel and that's what I've always like um, done. Um, and I just think that Instagram has been so like my place, my safe space to be who I really am. Like you know. Um, until they start censoring me. Them bitches, Instagram has started censoring me, bitch. Like, my, um, I look at my photos. Like, I know my, my photos are so pretty. Like, I don't care what no one says. Like, my photos are very, like, when I think of my photos, I think of grainy. I think of, um, like, old school. I think of, like, I don't know, like, effortless. Like, I, that's what I, that's what I think. And I, like, I like sit, I like, I like the sitting on the couch, like, to get a photo or, like, I love, like, you know, if I'm out, I'm like, Mama, like, can you take a picture of me? Like, take a picture of me, like, right there, like, then and there. I like that, that, like, I don't like that orchestrated bullshit. Like, you know how people orchestrate their photos and, like, oh, we need to be be here at this time. We need to do this at this time. We need to, like, do this picture. Like, it needs to be, like, theatrical. It needs to be this. Like, the people, on, on like, online on Instagram that be doing that is so ugly. Like, I hate, I hate that. I just feel like it should be effortless and you shouldn't try so hard. Like, you know, you should just wear your outfit, take a picture like a normal person and just go on about your day. And I think that's what I like right now. I just think that's my safe space. And um, TikTok, I, I don't like it as much as I used to. And But now I'm back on YouTube. Like, I'm not really back on YouTube. I think I'm just going to start posting a YouTube video like every two, like, too much like every two months <laughs> i don't know we'll see but like i'm also really busy with work and work has been work at, my job has been fine like i love my job i don't like the people but um some people some of the people um but i'm not gonna say who but if you see if i work with crackhead <laughs> i work with crackhead yes i do um anyway i'm not even gonna get on get into that but some people just get on my fucking nerves. I hate people that think that I don't know shit. Like, I'm the most aware person ever. Like, I'm so aware of everything. Like, I'm not aware of, like, little things, but I'm aware of the big picture. Like, I, I, when, I, when I go into a place, I know exactly what's going to happen. I know exactly what the vibe is. I'm like, mm, these people are just fucked hard. It's like, you know, like, they, they think you're dumb. They think just because you're the youngest person around that... They think that they can just go over you, but like, no, bitch. You better know your value in 2021, bitch. Know your value in general, bitch. I can't stand, like, I can't, I can't stand how the world, like, they try to, like, make us think that young people are so dumb, which some of us are really, well, most of us are a little dumb, um, 
but yeah know your worth child like these bitches out here they were really trying to like make you something that you don't know like, you don't know nothing what's going on like they lie lie right through their teeth and you know they please oh my god also like this fucking bag y'all i love this bag i finally found a bag that i really like you know okay see inspired inspired okay you know the bag that HRH has? Like, it's the Gucci J Jackie Kennedy bag um, that she wears. It's black. Remember, like, I bought that fake? Like, it was, like, a fake one? Yes, bitch. Yes, I, I can't stand... Like, bitch, if you don't have the money to get it, buy a fake one. Or buy, buy, a, or buy a better fucking bag. Like, you know, like this one. Um, so, this is, like, my Jackie Kennedy bag. <laughs> this is, like, my Jackie Kennedy bag, which I love this bag. This bag is so pretty. It's so nice. Like, if you turn on the lights, you, know, you can see it shine. And I love it. And it's, it, it, like, it, it's a perfect bag. Now, everyone knows that I wore this bag. I'm, I'm going to go get it for you. Hold up. Well, I have mini bags. Let me pull up. Everyone knows that I love this bag. It's like my little tote bag. Like, if I want to just go effortless and I'm not wearing anything, I just wear this. Like, you know, um, I have my Playboy bag. I really don't wear this one because you can't really, like, I can't put it on my fat arm. I have to carry it around like this, and I don't like that. Um, and then I have this one. Like, I, I like this. I just like the vibe of it. Like, if I'm wearing, like, white shirt or anything like that, or like something really basic, I wear that. But yeah, I'm really I found me a bag that I really really like, and I'm thinking we'll get the um, get this in brown and white. I'm gonna get them in the other colors because I love this bag. It's a perfect bag. It's a perfect bag. It's gold and black. Like you know, everyone knows. Like it, even since like people, I don't know why people are so think that I'm like like I'm like a cup of cap H R H, but. Um, even before I even discovered HRH, I was always wearing gold jewelry. Like you can go back in my old my old photos. Uh, you can go back and see. Like I always wear gold jewelry. I love gold. Um, even since like I was a kid, I used to be like, um, I love my favorite color is black, white, and gold. That's it. Like that. That's what I used to say when I was younger. Um, I just I love gold. Anything. I love gold jewelry, gold clothes. I don't give a fuck. I mean, if it's gold, I love it. So, yeah, this is my favorite bag. Oh, my God. And I bought this new lip liner. If you're a dark skin girl, you're black or whatever like that, bitch, get you this Juvia's Place um, lip. It's in, oh, God, what the fuck? This is in the shade Brownie. This is such a good lip for people with darker lips like me. Like you see my lips, like I, I, like it's such a per. Now it does come off a little red, but it's really nice. I love it. And okay. there's another lip liner. Well, it's not really a lip liner. It's kind of actually like a liner. This one. Um. This is the LA Cup, the LA Girl Ultimate Instant Stay Auto Liner. You can well, I guess you can use it on your eye and lip. And this is in the shade lasting brown bitch this shit is so good that's the lip liner that i use in my photos all the time and i also like this i don't know why i'm showing y'all this i don't know why i just got straight into that bitch i got all kind of shit in here i got my hand sanitizer to stay to keep covid away i got my gum bitch i got me a brush i got everything here i love bags when I'm in when I'm in my house by myself, all I do is carry my bag, bitch. Cause I can put my charger in here. I can put my um, my um, portable charger in here. I can put whatever and just go around, just just go around the house. Probably even wash the dishes and just have my phone charging. Like, I'm like that. Anyways, yeah, this is the perfect bag. I love it. This clasp is cute. Like, everybody was like, "Oh my god, that bag is so pretty!" Like, bitch, I will never tell you where it's from. <laughs> I will never tell you where it's from. Um, but I love it. It's so pretty. Um, I feel so... Why, look at... See how just like naturally I'm here? <laughs> I'm naturally here. I'm probably not even going to edit anything. Like, what's the edit? 
Can we talk about Demi Lovato, bitch? Because I'm really so sick of that. I'm so sick of Demi Lovato. And yes, I'm going, I'm going to fucking respect their pronouns. That's what they want to be called. I'm going to respect it. People oh, pe people who think I'm a misogynistic. I'm so I'm misogynistic now. I'm racist. I'm transphobic. Um, what what else? I don't even know what else. They they, they say everything about me, but I'm a, a spade is a spade, bitch. And I'm just gonna tell you now. I think Demi Lovato. I think that something's wrong with them. I think that they. I think the drugs really fucked them up. Truly, this bitch is over here talking about sing, singing the alien, seeing three human species in her room and taking her to a different other planet. Yeah, I believe in aliens my goddamn self, but I'm not gonna say that three fucking um, aliens took me to motherfucking Mars, bitch, and then a motherfucking, uh, I'm over here singing the aliens in some fucking diluted fucking house. Have y'all seen that? I I just, I don't understand. And I also think, here's my thing. I don't think that, sh that they are non-binary either, bitch. No, I do not. I do not think that, that they're non-binary. I do not. You want to know why? Simply because after the scandal of, like, the sugar cookie scandal and them making it, like, a big deal about the sugar cookie scandal, like, a month later, two months later, they come out as non-binary and everybody's all back around like you know hugging arms i do i do think a lot of celebrities they leech on to lgbt um to, to to like our community a lot and they say so many things like they they when they're in drama do you ever notice this that when they're in drama not all of them do like like halsey they are non-binary um sam smith they are non-binary never in any kind of like scandals or anything but Demi, they was in a scandal, then all of a sudden, I'm not binary. Like, I was like, it just doesn't make sense. And then the switching up, like, maybe one day I can be trans, or one day I can be... The no, you're contradicting yourself. Being transgender is not a decision you just, like, make like this. And, like, I'm going to be trans in one day. I'm going to be this one day. It's not. Like, as any trans person, any person that's actually been through trans... um been through the trans experience and that has actually like you know lived as a trans person it's not it's not it's not something that you just wake up one day and you're just like i'm trans no it's not it's not talk to trans people and actually look at their experiences and then you'll understand and a lot of trans people do not agree with what demi is doing at all like and then a the person what's that person's name i'm put a photo of them right here this person, they have been, like, accused of being, like, this, um, of, like, saying foul things about little girls, saying, like, little girls are sexy and stuff like that, like, actually, they say that little girls are kinky. And then Demi Lovato is, like, always with them, because I think they... I shake my head. And also, honestly, Blair White, I love Blair White. I've always, I've been watching Blair White for like at least, I don't even know how long, since three years, two years, three years, like that. Blair White hits people on the noggin, and y'all just really don't like, y'all don't like her simply because she's Republican, girl. Y'all think that Republican people are like the worst people in the world. I mean, there are like right, right wingers that are really crazy, but like, I swear to God, most Republican people are not, like, they're not crazy. They're not crazy. And, like, they think, people who think that just because you're Republican that you're simply, like, a racist, you're this, you're that, I don't believe that at all. Like, the most of the Republicans I've seen in my life have not been racist towards me, have not been, um, you know, and even some are not even Trump supporters either. Like, come on now. Even some are not even Trump supporters, like Ava, what's her name? Even though, I'm a pair. She's on the. Is she on the talk of the view? She's on the view. I'm a pair. She hates Trump. I love her. Simply because she hates Trump. <laughs> like I hate Trump. I voted for Joe Biden too. People think that like oh, oh my God, like Bruce is agreeing about the 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 anti-vax, which call it. Yes, I am, bitch. Yes, I am because I believe that like why they why why do they have to force people to take the vaccine? Like, why are they doing that? Why are they firing people to take the vaccine? It's like, 
like you don't care about the about those work you care about those workers and like you care about those workers um at the beginning of the year like when they when COVID was at the old time rise they it's so wishy-washy and it just makes me so frustrated and like how like they was the front liners and you know getting people and yes i believe that COVID is real yes i do um, but I do think, I do believe in immunity. I believe that, like, you know, I have faith in my own body that it would fight. I mean, all this long I haven't had COVID. At least I don't think I had COVID. Uh, my mother is six or seven years old. She hasn't had COVID. Um, there has been people in my family that has had COVID, but, like, they literally had, like, the faintest of the faintest, like, sickness when they had it. And my, like, my little, um, baby cousin, like I always say, like, um, if you seem like my, um, any of my stories like in the past like i've said like my um my little baby cousin she had covid and i swear to god like five five days later she was fine it was fine no one else didn't get sick like i would i'm just like why do they want to pity their kids the kid the kids are gonna be fine like they it's like a cold to them it's a little like a cold to them they don't need it now i do believe that older people do need it like i think that older people need the covid vaccine more than the younger people because more of the older people are dying from the covid and there are there are some people that are like you know younger stuff like that uh down covid and delta like that but you know most of them they have like severe like illnesses and i think that when people have severe illnesses i think they do need to take the vaccine um, do they have to? No, they do not. Like, have faith in your own immunity, girl, if you want to. <laughs> like, that is how I am. Um, how the fuck did I get to this fucking... I don't even know how I get to this. It's just so much shit in my brain that I be talking talking about in myself. <laughs> and it just comes out. But anyways. Yeah. That's how I feel. <laughs> um, what else? Do I need some... I have something else to talk about. It just slipped my mind. And see, another thing is, like, a lot of people don't have to agree with me or disagree. Like, we all agree that, like, the government should not be mandating vaccines. Like, most of the people that follow me, they they believe that. But they do believe that COVID's real. We believe in uh, pro-abortion. Like, people think that just because, like, I, I disagree on the vaccine. Like, I had someone DM me and was like, oh, my God, you agree with the vaccine. Yes, like, you're, they call me a Republican. I'm like, I'm not a Republican, bitch. I'm in the middle. I'm like a, I'm a liberal. I'm a conservative liberal. But that's really, sometimes I contradict that as well because like, am I conservative liberal or am I just a liberal that just agree with both sides? You know, I have to look into that and see the, put a definition on that, you know, a label on that because I don't really know uh, how to really describe the way I think as like, you know, when it comes to politics because at the beginning of, um, like, you know, when it was the election, I put down liberal. Because even as I was, I was a, I'm a first-time voter. Even as I was sitting there, because I did not want Trump to be in office. I did not. I was like, it's a lesser evil. Like, you know, um, even though they're both pedophiles. Like, we, we both know this. Um, anyways. Um, when I was sitting there voting, I was like, okay. Because my mama, she's never voted. I, I was a person that was very, like, I... He, the bitch needs to get out. He's the one who's got us in this predicament right now that we in right now. And even the people before them, like the like um, Kamala Harris, all the motherfuckers, Joe Biden, they was like all against the vaccine. Like, don't even get me started on that. Anyways, yeah, as I was sitting there, I was like, okay, so should I do Democrat? Should I do Republican? Because that's what I was thinking. Even like, you know, before all of this like i've always had i was always like this you know and i'm about i'm about balance um so i was sitting there i was like bitch i'm a fucking liberal <laughs> i was like liberal like bitch because i i don't strongly agree with everything democrats say i don't strongly di di uh, agree with republicans it's it's a balance with me like you know um and Motherfucking Texas, y'all got them people fucked up. Speaking of fucking Republicans, y'all motherfuckers is fucked up. How are you gonna be out here saying how much you um you pro choice pro pro choice pro, pro um what what is it again? My body, my choice. But then you over here fucking um uh creating a creating a law in Texas 
saying that like the people can't abort their children, child. Well, they can abort their children, but like they, it's like basically like two weeks in their pregnancy or some shit like that. Like that just doesn't even make sense. Like not no person knows when they're pregnant. Like until they actually see the bump or like or they get the period. Like I'm a male. I don't know everything, but. Like, most people like that I've talked to like like they're not gonna know that until they get the if they get the period or not like you know so it's just this I don't agree with that I agree with pro choice bitch like you should choose to get the vaccine you should choose to abort your baby if you want to period and eat oh my god this just gave me like oh my god twenty five do I have uh, twenty five minutes fuck okay I'm gonna end up for the story I remember like. When um back in high school, bitch, I want to cross my legs, bitch. I remember back in high school. In high school, I was friends with this girl, um, and she had like a limp arm. <laughs> this bitch had like a limp arm, like you know, she was born with that. It is what it is. Never made fun of her for. I'm just saying, like she had a limp arm. And this bitch, <laughs> this bitch was so mad. Like I. I remember we was we was talking about like abortion. She was so against abortion. She was like, "You should not kill that baby. You should not do this, bitch." I was like, "If they want to kill the baby, bitch, let them kill the baby. Like it's it, it's their body. It's their baby, bitch. It's not your baby. Who gonna take care of it? You? You gonna put it in the system? Is that what you're gonna do? You gonna put you gonna put that poor child in the system? It, it, and we know how horrible the system is. Like you want put you want put that child through that." Before the baby's even alive, the baby's not even alive when they abort the kid. The kid, I don't, I don't think. And she got so pissed at me. I was like, "Bitch, like, it's not your baby." Like, we're we're literally talking about, we're literally talking about nothingness at this point because like it's there's no one getting aborted right now. Like, we're not talking about someone that's personal to you, no one personal to me. And she just get like, and we never was friends after that. I was like, "Bitch, like, it's your choice, like." It's your body, like, you don't know the person can be raped. The person could, like, not want to have the baby by their father. Like, it can be so many different things. And I think people don't think about that. I just think it's so fucked up what Texas is doing. I really do. I mean, you know Texas is a good, like, state. But, like, it's so, like, so fucked up. Why? Why would you do that? Anyways. Um, I think I'm done. <laughs> see, see, this is why I don't, this is exactly, exactly why I don't. Cause I, I feel like this is gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> Whatever I say, I feel like it's gonna get me in trouble. So that's why I don't even talk no more. Um, like on platforms like this. Cause I feel like the the anti Bruce mob is like watching me as we speak. But anyways, thank you for watching. It was fun while it lasted. Um, we'll see. Maybe next weekend I'll come back on her. If y'all like this video or whatever like that so give it a thumbs up give it a give me a comment <laughs> tell me how much you like the video in the comments so you know how them, them people be like those like real youtubers anyways bye y'all i love you so much don't forget to be yourself and no one else bye <laughs>